In the world of fashion, you always hear about power, the power tie, the power suit. Usually it looks a lot like this. But power clothes are about to take on a whole new meaning. Here's Allie Ward to lead the charge. While some people have a passion for fashion, David Carroll has a fashionable passion for science. It runs so deep you could say it's in the fabric of his being. And it could realistically influence the clothing and electronic worlds. I've always loved laboratories. I like the smell of them, the hum of them, and I like playing with things. Uh, I guess you could say that uh, I've always been a physicist at heart. And it is heart that is central to the work that happens in David's lab here at Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the Center for Nanotechnology and Molecular Materials, where we decided to pay him a visit to talk about his latest project, the type of cloth that makes electricity through movement and temperature changes, things that happen naturally when we wear clothing and move our bodies. Power felt is a fabric. Okay, and it generates power from your body's heat and your body's motion. Right now, when you want to charge your cell phone in an airport, for instance, you look for an outlet. But in David Carroll's world, you may one day wear clothes that generate electricity. So you might just need to take a walk to add a little charge to your phone. Now I don't see power as only what comes from that plug. I see power as mobile, power as dynamic, power as you, your motion, the heat that you generate. David and his team start off by 3D printing the active materials for power felt. And what comes out looks like a very, very thin piece of felt. The secret is, it's embedded with thousands of microscopic nanotubes that are 100,000 times smaller than a human hair. Feel that. It won't hurt you. Ooh. So. And is this carbon? It is carbon, yeah. The potential applications for this type of technology could range from a simple shirt to complex fabrics for use underwater or even in space. The work that David and his team do here involves some pretty complex physics and chemistry, but it results in some very relatable science. All right, so we're gonna put this into practice. You have a power felt t-shirt. That's right, so this is a t-shirt and it's a big version of the material that you just played with. So it's okay. exactly the same thing, except it's a shirt. Okay. There you go. How's my hair? Right. How's my hair? Yeah, you look great, you look great. Okay, there it is. <gasps> oh, look at that. Now the power felt is actually the WF, the logo for a university. So it actually does produce power. In this particular case, it doesn't produce a whole lot of power, but if you go running around, it will produce enough to begin to charge your battery. So the more frenzied my dancing, That's right. the more I would charge this. What exactly. about if I were to like runway strut, like down? <laughs> when you stop okay, to consider the potential applications for this technology, the possibilities are endless. Airplane seats, running gear, backpacks, clean room suits. Good clean fun. This particular look aside, I can't help but envision some fabulous new power threads in my future wardrobe. Da -da -da -da.